Dr. Tia. Welcome to Fish and Bread Church. Let go and let God. Upon Saturday, May 21st, 2022, at 11.47 a.m., Merriam-Webster, the American Dictionary, stated that depose meant to be removed from a throne or other high position, or to remove from office suddenly or forcefully. Displace meant to remove from the usual or proper place, or the force that causes something to be moved out of its proper place and that disengage was to release something that was engaged or involved but how does God use these three forces to show that he is God more than we are I guarantee that if you're listening to this broadcast you've been displaced from one or two events in your life which may cause you great physical harm our public schools were known for teaching anthropology, taxonomy, the study of animals and their kingdoms, and observation, the act of watching and tracking other life forms. The Audubon is a book that helps us classify and document creatures that are not us. We call them birds, bird watching principles. Their wings and their way aerate the planet. Watching God I've noticed that God was a beast that liked to brag about things. In very short, God is a man who teaches humility by making you lose things, forcing you to beg for something, and watching the retrieval process when he finally approves. His speeches and responses within the heavens are timed, and they're automatic and they're electronic. The sooner that you let go and let God when you request something, the faster you get it. The more you ask it, endangers your likelihood of getting it soon or even at all. Scientists are paid to prove things, like prove that light will illuminate the darkness, or prove that a substance is a metal and not a gas. We do this as monkeys using tools We all have our special sentences to make sure that our requests are heard and granted by God as the authority. For example, marking something to done means making a to-do list and ensuring that the system knows you want this done with immediacy. This form of trickery is helpful when you understand that God grants the requests of mighty men first and then he allows other subjects to pick up or reprove his original judgment. There's a count that comes with reproving another for its benefit. If you help another, do it sparingly because they end up hurting you in the end. But if you choose to reprove someone you love, you can justify it by knowing that Revelations 3.19 states, Those whom I love, I reprove and discipline. Therefore, be zealous and repent. Don't let anyone put their hands upon you or whisper anything into your ears. You don't know how they are able to displace you. It's okay to tell people no. By saying no, let go, and let God.